Hey YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to Disavowed Action Figures Hunt Video, episode number 61. Before we get started with this insane freaking hunt this week, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot and it's free for you. So please hit that sub button. Also like and comment and share as much as you'd like for my videos because it helps us grow the channel. Uh, we have hunt videos, we have some quick looks on newer figures, and we also even have some Live at 705 segments, which is the live show we do on Instagram every Wednesday night on my Instagram at disavowed underscore 12. With that said, guys, I'm not going to bury the lead. We found friggin' G.I. Joe Classified, Target exclusive, Major Blood, the weekend it dropped. Check out this video. Again, it's all about the journey finding these figures. And along the way, we found new Marvel Legends, new Multiverse, NECA restocks, all sorts of stuff. Guys, check it out. Enjoy the video. Have a great weekend. This has basically become a common occurrence, which is incredible. But uh, Tamaqua Walmart, they did put out uh, the Lady J and Flint Waves. So it was one of each. So somebody did get here before me. And of course, we have two Cobra Commanders hanging on the bag because that's what they do. So... Um, again, I, I'm good on these. I've helped a couple people out here and there. Uh, but overall, I think that at this point in time, as hard as it is to leave these behind, I'm going to leave these behind. Um, usually I don't leave Jojo behind, but I'm going to. So there they are here on the peg, which is great. We also have a Hiss. Uh, we have these little micro figures that are now down to 788. Uh, if you saw my video months ago, uh, the Hamburg Walmart actually had those super low as, low as well. Look at this, $10? Okay, this is going with me. There's no way for $10 on leaving this behind. That is awesome. So $10, Master of the Universe Sky Sled. I don't even need this, but for $10, that is, considering it was originally 30, that can't sit behind. So I'll find a place for this on my shelf or in my collection. Um, plus having a uh, Prince Adam is okay. So that's here. And a quick walk down the Legends. Looks like we still have uh, pretty ample amounts of Shang-Chi here, as well as uh, still some uh, leftovers from the Tri-Sentinel Wave. Wrestling, looks like we have just a bunch of basics. We have Notice, that's kind of cool. Um, He-Man, Masters Universe, Origins, typical Peg Warmer, Star Wars has not been restocked. Here are the Transformers, Beast Wars, Reds. For all you Transformers collectors out there, Bumblebee Wave stuff. Over here, we have the Kingdom War for Cybertron stuff. Uh, some more down here, Transformers. Power Rangers, not much. And it looks like nothing really in terms of um, Fortnite. Nope, some small ones, that's about it. So $10, I will definitely take this all day. So let's get out of here and head out. All right, guys, and just for confirmation, let's double check it. And there we go, 10 bucks, not too bad. So big toy hunt tomorrow on Saturday. So Friday afternoon, I'm just kind of doing a quick hunt and look at this, holy crap. I'm not collecting these, but they not only have one of the Batman Beyonds, they not only have two of the Batman Beyonds, they have three of the Batman Beyonds. So if you're looking, if you're looking guys for this, this is the Crocs Road target here in Allentown, Lehigh Valley area. So obviously you'll see this video much later, but if you follow me on Instagram at disavowed underscore 12, you would have seen this video right now because I'm about to put it on Instagram as well. So if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, this is why you should. If you're a local collector, uh, you get to hook up a lot faster when you know things are out there. So Linden Street, Walmart. It's rare I see anything here that is unusual, but they do have some bizarros. It looks like this wave was put out. So there's one Bizarro. We do have the Batman Earth negative 11. We have another Damian Robin and another Bizarro. So Walmarts are now getting in these McFarland waves. The first time I saw them out is they're at the place. Put those back, right? But yeah, check your Walmarts, guys. Bizarros are hitting and I'm wrecking the joint because I'm so excited, apparently. It's been a multiverse kind of night so far. And just a few feet to the left, Here's the wrestling, and we just basically have that. So if you saw my video from two weeks ago, you saw how stacked these were. Uh, yeah, we're down to four. Three of them are McIntyre with a bunch of basics. So that's what we got going on here at this Walmart, guys. And it's extremely, extremely loud with people's walkie-talkies and people talking. So I'll tell you, let's walk away from that. Uh, Transformers. I know people always ask me to show those off when I'm here. So there's your Transformer update from this particular location. Then down below, we have the bigger boys. So if you're a Transformers collector, 
you know what's going on here. Oh, geez. That one snuck up on me, man. I didn't see him there. Uh, Marvel Legends, uh, those are old. I mean, old, you know, is kind of, uh, you know, up for debate in the collecting community, but those have not been here in a while. Oh, we have some of the Tri-Sentinel Omegas, and then we do have some of the Shang-Chi and the Peg. But that seems to be about it, so I'm gonna go check that guy. And as, as usual, if I don't show you what's there, there's nothing worth showing. And super fast update, I just scanned both of these and they are on clearance for $14.90. So this wave is on clearance if you're looking for it. It's here at uh, Linden Street, I'll be leaving them behind. I actually built Joe Fix It and then uh, sold off these figures. So don't need those, but they're here on clearance for $14.90. Hey, YouTubers, quick 15 second break from the hunt. You'd be amazed how many people watching right now watch this video but are not subscribed. Please hit that sub button. It does a lot to help us grow the channel. Like and comment. Now, back to the hunt. So I just turned the corner at Cedar Crest Target and there it is, John Raymond Arnold um, from the Amber Collection. I had no interest in this line, but I have a lot of Sam Jackson figures and I kind of feel the need to pick this up. I think it's only $19.99 if that's the right tag. So I might grab one of these. Um, I don't really have any friends who've said they've looking, they're looking for it, so I'll probably leave one behind for sure. Um, but I think I might grab one for myself because I have a lot of Sam Jackson figures at home and I think he'll look on the shelf with Nick Fury and uh, you know some of the other characters I got laying around. So I might grab this guy, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, are you collecting the Amber Collection uh, or are you looking for this particular figure at bare minimum? Um, I'm really interested, besides the fact that it, it is Samuel Jackson, the computer that goes with it. So, I'm gonna pick this up. So, I had to pick up some groceries, and of course, I swung by the toy aisle, and two more flints are here. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Have these been popping up more frequently at Walmarts than ever before? This is probably the fourth or fifth, maybe sixth case I've seen they put out of these. Now, Lady J's gone, but that's still pretty awesome that uh, I you actually find flint. Now, I know a lot of people can't in newer regions of the country, but here in mine in Pennsylvania, it's been a lot easier seeing this wave. So just thought I'd quick throw that out there, a quick clip. But yeah, Flint, number 26, maybe things are getting better. Maybe things are getting better. We're almost in Joe June. So here's your home base lunch hunt Walmart uh, check. And we are officially down to 1490 on these bad boys. So I know the Frogman had been 1490 for a while. Uh, and so was Peter Parker. But uh, yeah, looks like we have that entire set of pegs are now 1490. Uh, otherwise, here's your update on the stuff going on here with uh, Mr. Hyde Wave. Uh, we still have some Moiras hanging out. Uh, this is a great wave. I, I'm actually surprised it sits as long as it does, especially those Moiras, because you wait to see, they're gonna shoot up in price eventually. Oh, nobody's gonna want that one now, huh? So let me know in the comments, guys, about roughing up the boxes again. I'm sure somebody's gonna be mad about that. But otherwise, we have a uh, Zayling, we got a Wen Wu. Uh, we have a Shang-Chi, so it looks like we have about half that wave. Uh, Death Dealers are all gone, uh, but that was your, uh, your Marvel Legends update. Uh, Star Wars, whew, man, every single time they just sneak up on you. Guys, haven't done this in a while. Star Wars is officially a dumpster fire. There's just nothing here right now. It's been a while since a good old-fashioned dumpster fire. There it is. Uh, wrestling, we have some of the uh, Series 83 that Banks just calls to me, but I'm not doing it. I'm not going in on Elites that deep. Um, that seems to be about it. G.I. Joe is back to being a barren wasteland of basically nothingness. And I know somebody's going to ask about Transformers. So pardon me for walking so quickly. Hopefully you're not getting motion sickness. But Transformers is actually getting, eh, I would say pick through, but there's actually more here than I thought there was. So there tends to be a lot of Transformers here at the home base Walmart. Um, what's this going on here? Optimus. So... Uh, yeah, hope there's another one of these guys. So you could almost build this entire wave right now. Uh, get really darn close, actually, uh, on the uh, clearance. If that was a bigger Build-A-Figure, I would consider uh, building him. But other than that, I'm happy with uh, what I have. But all right, guys, let's go check NECA. As usual, if you don't see it, there was nothing there. So I guess we uh, have started the hunt for Major Blood for G.I. Joes. Needless to say, I'm not seeing any here. I'm actually not even seeing the peg for Joes. Something that was maybe moved or not. But uh, here's your DC uh, multiverse going on. So we have a Bizarro, Robin up top, some more Batman. There is all your Transformer stuff. Pretty sure these are new. Have not seen those here before that I can think of. This is down on clearance in most places. Ghostbusters still hanging on by a thread up there. Marvel Legends, we have more Katie's, they just restocked those. That's pretty stacked. We have this wave, which is on clearance at Walmart. Finally, there's your army of frogmen. 
Uh, we still have some of the Tri Sentinel. Also, we have our AI Iron Man back behind wrestling. Looks like our basic peg warmers from what I have noticed. Um, haven't seen this Kingston. I guess the top picks might be new, at least new to this store. Uh, no AEW. Here's some UFC action if you're a UFC person. Uh, down this way, Mo2 looks like pretty standard. Here we have the non flocked. Somebody might be hiding this. This kind of came out of nowhere. Should be sitting over here, should it? Uh, there's our Marvin the Martian. I thought about picking this up if I saw it. I'm not going to get it today. But down here in Jurassic Parkland, we do have one Jeff Goldblum because life uh, finds a way. So uh, that's about it. I'm going to go ask about the Joes with the DPCI and probably get shot down miserably. And it's been a while since we did a NECA check here at Cedar Crest Boulevard. And I know some people who are big into My Hero Academia. We're looking for him. I know nothing about My Hero Academia, but there's one here. Uh, tons of these Mandarin spawns. We still have a Ming hanging on. We also have some restock on the Phantom. We have all of our regular horror stuff with Back to the Future. Uh, here we do have the new Gremlin. I think that's new. Whoa, hubba hubba. Uh, down below we have tons of turtles. So we have restock on these guys. So they're here. So we have another one and another one. And well, we have a five of these sitting here. So for all of you uh, TMNT fans, they are restocking those two packs. And then down here, just some tiny tune horror stuff going on. Tiny tuned terrors. But uh, there's your reaction up top. Let's go see if we can find an employee and ask about that DPCI for major blood. So now we're at Airport Road Target. And as you can see, Multiverse is pretty stacked. We have some more Bizarro there. All the bikes are gone from last week. Uh, here is our Transformers and Hasbro section. And as you can imagine, there are no Joes here but that's your transformer stuff going on. Uh, here is the uh, Joe Peg, not a special peg, I don't think. Uh, here's some Power Ranger action. That Pink Ranger looks relatively new. So I think some people have been out there looking for those. Uh, down here in the Marvel section, just look at the stacked Katie's. Oh my God, these things will definitely be on clearance. So hoping to pick one of those up because they're just gonna be everywhere. Shang-Chi, Win Wu. So the entire wave sitting here for our uh, build the figure for Mr. Hyde. So lots of that going on. Oh, down this way, looks like it's basically your typical stuff on this side of the aisle with the Roblox and the Fortnite stuff. Let's go see what's over in wrestling. And wrestling section is pretty pick through. We do have a Sheamus, looks like an 84. I think that's actually new. Yeah, there's the Rhea Ripley. So those are new, I believe, the 84s. Uh, there's the Roman up top. We have a Jeff Hardy in the back. And we do have that Cena that everybody wanted. Now it seems to be popping up everywhere. Oh, man. Those guys just... Oh, I can't deal with them. Non-flocked Panthor. And then a lot of LeBron James stuff here. And then down here, it looks like we actually have a lot of Jurassic Park. So we do have a John Raymond Arnold. Uh, hold on your butts. I picked him up, actually, at Cedar Crest last week. And we have, looks like, two Ian Malcolms that are here. So life uh, finds a way. So if you're looking for Nick Fury... Uh, or if you're looking for, um, oh geez, it's not the collector. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, the Grandmaster, there it is, never mind. The Grandmaster and Nick Fury are both here on the pegs. So I'm gonna go look around and try to find an employee to ask about uh, looking up those G.I. Joe DPCIs for me. Um, but I think it's safe to say I'm probably not gonna be finding those anytime soon. And I was walking by and just happened to see this. That looks really great. Um, not pop person you guys know it i have just enough of them but pretty awesome the uh dark light versions there's another one that isn't mangled like this other one is uh, and looks like they have one more back here so they have three of the gambits if you're looking for those here over at the uh airport road location but other than that i think we're striking out today i still gotta find an employee and ask but you know that's probably gonna go okay so we're at gamestop over on Hamilton Boulevard, and I passed on this when I saw it at Target for regular price. Considering paying that, I can't believe it, but I'm falling down the rabbit hole. Because I know if I buy this, I'm really going to enjoy watching this tomorrow for episode number three. So I'm going to consider this. Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself. I'm going to consider this. Extensive character customization, which in my case instantly gives the game extra points because I absolutely adore spending We got Grod. Looks like Grod is 25 here. We have the big boy two pack. Grief. 
And over here, Power Rangers. We still have Gung Ho hanging on tough. Pumpkin wrapper. And Legends, it looks like we do have the Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi wave. And down below, we do have a J. Jonah, two of them, which they're actually back to regular price. They were like 30 at one point. So I gotta make some decisions. I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I might do this. All right, so there's gonna be two versions of this video because either I'm embarking upon the hunt for Major Blood and I'm about to be disappointed or I'm actually about to get him. So either you're going to see an entire video of me hunting for blood or me getting blood right away. Let's go. So if you're a G.I. Joe classified collector, which you probably are because you're watching this video, you know the range of emotions going through my head right now. So I can see Target in the distance. Let's hope this works out. So quick update. As a review, I called ahead. They said they had three left and would put one on hold for me and took my name. It sounds shady, but let's see. Yep, that would be it. Thank you. Alrighty. I'm going to do some shopping out front, so I'll take it off your hands and go look. Thank do you. Do they have to pay for it here, Shane? Do you guys Joe, do they have to pay for that here? Uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I can pay for it here. That's, okay. I can do that. That's fine. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah, this just happened. So, confirmation. If you get the right Target employee, they will help you out. They put it on hold for me, and I just scored freaking major blood. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? I am stoked about this. Um, I didn't even bother going into the store. I'm going to put this in my car first. Let's go in and see if there's any on the pegs or uh, anything else. Because obviously there's always people that you are friends with who can use some help. But real close look, guys. Man, this is awesome. This was the easiest Target exclusive I ever managed to get. Uh, this is the Wilkes-Barre Target, by the way. And again, I'd like to say thank you to the great employees who helped me out here. Um, and uh, this is actually the store that I picked up the Firefly at uh, when those came out a while back. So, boom, there it is, guys. Let's go back and see what else they have. Guys, check this out. I came in, I gave him the DPCI, he gave me another one. Then I realized, ask about the Marvel Legends DPCI, maybe I can get Baron Zemo out of the score too. So he's looking back there now. I told him that's the one I wanted specifically. And yes, I have friends who want one of these. I know people might get mad at the comments. I'm sorry, but you know what it is. We help out people we are friends with. So yes, I'll be giving this to a friend of mine. Seriously, awesome. <laughs> I should have probably asked him to bring the entire case out, uh, but I was, didn't want to be tempted to buy more than these because I'm pretty much out on MCU figures, but I needed Zemo. I just needed Zemo because of Civil War, um, but looks incredible. Let's go over here and find a quick shelf to look at these. Of course, there's no empty space. Okay. So here's Zemo, looks freaking amazing. He said it was the only one in the case. He goes, I put the boxes in good shape. I said, sir, thank you, you've been a tremendous help. It looks epic. So again, I'm out on MCU. I might've gotten Bucky if I took the time to look at him. However, yeah, I, I'm just sticking with Zemo for now, but this is the big one, guys. I can't freaking believe both of these today. Took the drive up here. It's about 45 minutes from my place of work. Um, had one on hold. And then again, I asked for a friend, and I know people are gonna say in the comments, well, you know, whatever, scalper. No, I'm hooking up a friend with this, okay? Because these might be hard to find, or they might be super easy to find, we don't know yet. Uh, in June, they could be more plentiful, but I am pretty excited that I bought these in my hand. Um, so guys, you know what? It's gonna get frustrating, but when you get them in hand, you're gonna be excited about it, and you're gonna be happy. So take care, everybody, stay safe, and I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs. And guys, I know I already said the thing, you know, the thing, but nice I'll say the thing one more time right now. So stand by. And you don't need that, but there it is anyway. And there it is, guys. And I'll be seeing all of you for the second time at the pegs.